baby. First time in months. Oh, my seatbelt fell in me, man. It's been so long. If anyone's out there, probably not. I don't know if I can read it and all that stuff either, but probably can't read it. Uh-oh, watch now. Tell me those office prices live. That's me, baby. Ah. Ooh, we're coming to a light. We're coming to a light. Where do I look? Over there, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Crazy, man. Crazy. Welcome. Hey, my first time live in a long time. I've been golfing. I told you, if you're a fan friend of mine, first tournament today in four years. First round of golf in four years. Look at the red lights on my face. But um, birdied the first hole out of the gate. Perfect drive. Wedge to three feet, birdie. And then I uh, made like four birdies. I did okay, but not great. But the weather's awful. Awful. Pouring rain. It's 47 degrees. I wanted my first day back. Again, it's just a one-day shootout, so it's nothing fancy. But I wanted it to at least be better weather in June. That's why I waited till June. I could have played in March. Not March, but April and May. So I wanted a decent day on my comeback day, right? But no, I guess you can't tell by this light. It's gross out. But I'm not complaining. I, I hit some shitty shots for sure, but I also hit some awesome ones. You know, I really did. I, I was surprised at how better, how much, how good I hit it for not playing for four years under pressure playing for money, you know. So that I'm happy with. I hope everyone that's watching, if anyone's watching, I, uh, if you're my friends on here, I miss you guys. Thanks for watching and all. But, but yeah, I hit some great drives, great um, iron wedges. Chip shot sucks, sand shot sucks. Putting was not bad. I've made some great putts. Um, I'm working on my routines with that stuff. So it, it's a good, it's some way to get your feet wet again, back in the game. You know what I mean? So you're getting back into it. It's not easy. This isn't hockey, baseball, basketball. Those are easy to get back into. You know what I mean? But to judge the wind, I mean, the wind's in my face, 30 miles an hour, raining. It's hard. You know, it's hard. But that's what we do. You know, like I said, I was hoping to, for it to be 70 out, and I could play in, uh, you can't play in shorts, but I could play in a, t- a golf shirt, a polo shirt, and, um, no problem. But I had, like, nine jackets on and sweaters and gloves, mittens. But I, I, I stuck it out, and I did it, and I am keeping um, my promise to everybody that I'm telling you how I did every day. Now, this was not the best. It wasn't the worst, but it wasn't the best. But I hit some great ones. You know, and uh, it's good stuff. But I haven't been on YouTube at all. I apologize, but I've been practicing all day and working out. I just, my mind is on real golf, not YouTube golf. And it sucks because I miss everybody, all my buddies out there and um, joining their chats and stuff. But, I mean, I'm putting as much as I can into this. takes me away from that, you know. Even my channel, I don't think I've done a video in a while. So I'm not avoiding or uh, giving up. I'm certainly not giving up on my channel. But the weather where I live is just so unpredictable. It's hard to make good videos. I want the weather to be nice and, you know, get videos made and all that. Coaching and help people play better golf or just whatever they want to do. So, But it's gross out. You know, now it's 48 now. Yucky. So, um yeah, hopefully I can go on my friend's channel again Friday Night Live if you'll invite me on or anybody else's channel and all that stuff. But I go to bed early. I'm exhausted. What time? It's like 8, 8.15 now. I'm going to go home, eat dinner, and probably just go to bed. I'm beat. That's a long day. You know, I start, I start at 6 in the morning working out, practicing, um, mentals, training, and then you go play 18 holes in the rain in the tournament. It's, you know, it's not digging ditches. I know I'm not, you know, it's harder work than I do. I know that. But it's not easy either, you know. But I wouldn't change it for the world. And I'm very lucky and fortunate to be able to play golf for money and make money doing it. So there's that. But again, it's not easy. 
and I do work my ass off to, to, to be as best I can. And my D is killing me right now, which is not a good sign, but I just I just need some Advil. My, the back of my car, I have a, a Ford Flex, so the back is all mess, just shit everywhere, rain gear, scrub. I can't find my Advil, but this is just soreness. Nothing bad, nothing about my knee surgery is just bad or my foot surgery and all that, so that's good. But, but yeah, um, I'll be doing some better videos, how to hit the ball better, play better, answer your questions and all that soon. I'm gonna hopefully I'll do a live thing again, probably Sunday night. You know, but I am working my tail off to be back to golf champion, make some money and all that. Trying to lose weight, it's hard, you know. You probably saw my videos. I'm trying. It's not easy. I mean, I did, on my phone, I looked at it. I did 16,000 steps today. Now, now, that's way more than I know here. 16,000. Pretty good. I'm trying to eat better, drink a little bit more. I did have a beer with the guys afterwards I haven't seen in five years, but not 20, just one. Get home to my beautiful wife and kids and family and all that. That's what we do, you know? But the YouTube friends, I miss them all. They're all good people, good crowd. This guy don't know how to drive, pal. Pick a lane, buddy. There you go. You know what I mean? So... I do miss the YouTube. It's almost like you forget about it. When you don't do it enough, you just, like I said, I do, I do, you know, I work out, practice, putting, golf. I got a thing in the backyard. I got a putting net. I got blah, blah, blah. Go to the golf course, practice, 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 practice. It takes so much freaking practice. Trying to get in shape and all that. So it takes me away from it. I get, I get out of the groove, you know. But I need to get back in the groove and, and go on some channels. But, like, I could fall asleep right now. I'm so tired. And like I said, I'm going to go home, eat, hang out with my wife, hopefully watch some um, women's softball with her and say hi to the kids and, and go to bed. I'm beat, you know, but mentally beat, too. It takes it, it takes it out of you trying to think of what club to hit. So say you're hitting your sand wedge 104 and you got 97 uphill into a win. you got to think, is it a soft pitching? It, it does. It wears you out, you know, but... But again, I'm not complaining. I got a pretty good job in life, but it's still it takes it takes some thinking and stuff. It's not you just walk out there and whack it and like it's automatic. You know, people think it's it's just easy. It's not. You work your ass off to be good, you know. But I was almost I almost quit. I was almost done. I was not in a good spot. But I'm working my way back, you know. Dude. Raining, man. Yeah, but it's raining and gross. Hopefully everyone out there is good, having fun, learning something, playing golf. Or Any questions, leave me a comment. Ask me a question to help your golf swing or your golf game or clubs, anything. I'm here to help you play better. That's what I want to do is help others play better and you get to enjoy it, you know. Even when I hit a shitty shot today, I just laugh. I laugh. When I was younger, I probably would have been pissed off. But I just laugh. Who cares? Then you find the next one and you you just keep doing your best, you know? It's so it's it's fun. So much better than not being out there, you know what I mean? Being sitting on the couch, getting fat, eating bonbons like Peg Bundy all day. It's not that sucks, you know. And as much as I do like the YouTubers and all that, but you gotta get out, you gotta live a little bit, you know. But there's time for for everything, and the YouTubers and, and all that. So I'm testing new clubs next week. I still have older clubs because, like I said, I've been out of action for a long time. So I'm testing new shafts and new clubs June 10th. I think that's next Saturday. And hopefully I'll get better better fitted clubs and shafts. And ball. The golf balls are all good and all that, but I'm just so out of shape. It's, it's, it's such a process. You wouldn't believe what you really have to go through to get dialed in and stuff, you know. And, and working on your motion and flexibility and, and all that stuff. But it's fun. Again, I, I, I did pave driveways when I worked in high school in the summer. I paved driveways 
had that wheelbarrow, um, so I did do manual labor, yes. And I know what it's like to work hard. I work hard. I just don't dig ditches or, or whatever, you know, but it's still, it's still work, it's still a job, so. But I'll have a video coming out on today and all that, probably the next couple of days and how I did some shots. I couldn't have a camera out there. It's kind of weird playing a pro event with a camera, but I, you know, I try to take a couple of videos on the driving range and all that. But it, again, this is today was nothing. It's just a, a one day shootout, a couple of grand, nothing fancy, just to get my feet wet again, you know, TV. Because that it's easy when you practice on the golf range. When you go to the golf range, the practice range, driving range, whatever you call it, it's easy there. The lie is flat. It's the same shot. It's beautiful. You go out here into the wind with a downhill lie. The feet below, the ball's below your feet 10 inches. It's way freaking harder. Way harder. It is. It's just that it's just that it's crazy. So. But that's how you figure out what you need to work on. So now I know I need to work on side angle hills and all that stuff. So. Oh, God dang it. Well, nobody's here, so I'll probably sign off. Thank you all for watching. God bless, and I will see you soon. Oh, God. <laughs>